Hey, how are we doing? It's JJ. Just want to check in, say hi. I've come out to um, Broxbourne Woods today, um, which isn't too far away from me and it's quite near work, so that's quite handy. And I'm on the um, western side of Broxbourne Woods, which is part of a extended nature reserve. Um, this used to once be a Cecil Oak and native hornbeam woodland, but it was kind of cleared out in the 1960s and they planted fast growing conifer trees, um, some of which are still sort of behind me. But what they've started doing is clearing those out in the last sort of few years and that, and they're, they're returning this part more to like a natural grass, chalkland area, heathland area. And um, the way that they are doing that is that for a few months each year, they bring cattle onto here and it's all fenced in. There's gated enclosures, um, styles and that that you can get in. And um, I wasn't too sure if, if the cattle were, were still here. Now you do have to be careful obviously, but I've been in there a few times in the past when they're here and um, Lo and behold, they are actually here. Um, I wasn't too sure when I got here, but they've actually just moved up. Now, obviously, I'm going to be careful. And uh, there you go. They've just spotted me. There we go. Let's take a little pick while we're here. There we go. So, yeah, there you go. The native longhorns. These ones are quite young. There's a couple of older ones that are up in here as well. So these ones are pretty young. So um, I'm going to make my way past these. And uh, I'm going to go and set up and have a brew. What I'm actually going to do today is um, I'm going to go a little bit sort of retro with my setup today. But more on that in a minute. So let's just see. Let's just bring you away around here. Now, I'm just keeping a clear eye on these. Obviously, we know that cattle can run pretty fast. So, I'm just going to make myself aware because there's a couple over here as well. And I just want them to be aware that I'm here as I slowly go by. Because they can probably run quicker than me. So, there we go. We're just staying nice and friendly as we walk by. There's one just to my right. There we go, just behind. And there's another one there. Now, the beauty of me filming this is, yeah, see, they're moving out of the way. The beauty of having selfie mode on is that I can see behind me. So that's good. Anyway, anyway, guys and girls, I want you to come along. I want you to join me on my little little afternoon out because this place is absolutely fantastic where it started to clear out more native shrubs and that have started to grow up it looks a lot more natural and it's brilliant we're into autumn the herald of autumn is upon us and that's you know whether you go by september the first from a calendar point you know, September, October, end of November, autumn, December starts from January, or whether you go, you know, meteorologically or astrologically according to the year, because obviously some say that autumn starts on the 21st of September, but it doesn't matter. We're into autumn, leaves are starting to fall or turn and change, and, um, you know, now's the time the bracken starts to turn colour as well, migratory birds start making their way back to warmer climes but i absolutely love this time of year autumn is my favorite time of year and uh i absolutely love autumn so i'm going to get myself up to where i'm going to go and get set up and we tune back in in a minute hang on Just keeping an eye out for the cattle just because I'm on a little bit of slope impromptu little stop just come down along this gully over to where I'm going to go 
and there's a small silver birch sapling that's been taken down. Spot on, awesome. Laplander, love my Laplander. So I've just cut myself two lengths of this, which I'm gonna use as a bipod set up for the Lavu. And um, now I've come across those, I can get a nice little setup. So let's carry on, come along and join me, let's go. I'm really, really happy with the setup that I've got here now. Obviously, I'm aware of the cattle that are over that side, but I don't really think they're going to give me any trouble. But just in case, I've set up my two poles. Really, really easy to take down. Um, just running a very, very basic ridge line across to that tree. Um, those two bits of cut silver birch. I like it, I like it. It'll just be a real easy, quick takedown. Um, but I say, I'm not really gonna have any problems. Let me show you. Yeah. So yeah, what an absolutely stunning area. All this has started to be cleared out in the last few years by the cattle. And then it's good, although they're keeping the odd bit of conifer and that in there. There's silver birch. And there's some willow just over back there, just because there is a bit of a culvert, a little stream that runs down. Um, there's hazel coming back in. There's some rowan. And um, yeah, absolutely cracking, absolutely cracking. So I am all set up. And there you go. There you go. I am going old school today. And um, it's time to get a brew on. So uh, let's just pop you up on pause. We'll tune back in. Let's have a brew. <coughs> oh my days, it's absolutely glorious. The title of this vid will be the Herald of Autumn. And it's so apt. When I got up this morning, it was, it was chilly. There was a mist, you know, the morning mist you start to get in autumn. And I just thought that was going to be it for the day. But you know what? It's brightened up, although it's now clouded over a little bit. But it's warmed up as well. You know, it's that, that first part of autumn, you've still kind of, you, you, you've only just kind of vaguely said goodbye to summer. But it's what you start wearing and that. So I'm only wearing a t-shirt today, but I've got my um, Fjall Raven padded pullover. But yes, yeah, absolutely glorious. When you start to get those misty mornings and you go out later on and it's just warmed up, it's about 19, 20 degrees now. It's absolutely brilliant. So yeah, autumn, loving it, loving it, loving it. So, bit of old school today. I've come out with this. I said I was going retro today and that's exactly what I've done with my Polish Lavu. Hiya. Hiya. You are right. That's all right. So I'm filming, but say say hi. Oh, no, that's all right. No worries. It's cool. What are you filming? Uh, it's just for YouTube. And oh, that, that's okay. all. Yeah, no worries. That's okay. Yeah, there's a little footpath that just runs along through here and that. So, um, but obviously I'm not staying here all day. But it's just a nice little setup. So, yeah, as I was saying, and that's so uh, we've come out today with a Polish Lavu canvas tent, just using it in a half configuration with a um, silver birch bipod poles. That dog going a bit mad behind me. Yep. So yeah, a little bit retro. Um, what I'm also bringing out today is this for the first time. I got this the other day off my good friend Tim Keeble. Um, he's a good friend in the Polish 
some Hungarian Lavu owners worldwide Facebook group page run by my very good friend um, John Kellen Fody along with Tim Matthew Trehearn another good friend of myself and I just sort of said that I wanted one of these which is the Yugoslavian mess tip mess kit set and that's what we've got so it comes apart in a little canvas pouch that we've got there a little plastic container up in there so you can put bits and bobs in that in there handle folds out on the side look at that how cool is this so you get a water bottle that's square shaped to fit inside there's another little container in there so again you can put little bits and bobs in there and we're just going to pop those out of the way for now we're just going to Clean that out. I did wash this out earlier, but I've just dropped a load of dirt in there. Typical, typical. So yeah, I've just wanted to try these out for a while because it gives me the opportunity to do a lot more sort of like cooking. And I love the old retro stuff. Um, it's one of the things I haven't used for a while is my Italian Alpini Mountain Regiment pack from the 1950s. Um, I would have used that today, but I've got far too much kit that I've come out with. But yeah, this is a proper bit of kit. These are well sought after. Um, Tim said that he had a spare one. And um, I could have it, so he sent it down to me. Didn't ask for postage or anything. So when Tim watches this, a big thanks once again. I have thanked him in person. So a bit of water in there. I'm just gonna close this back over because I don't want everything getting covered. Uh, let's just pop that to the side. So yeah, a proper bit of old school retro kit, which I absolutely love. And again, the camping gas stove, do you know what? I've used camping gas for over 20 odd years. It's something that I absolutely love. And um, I just don't see the need to change. So let's pop that on there. Absolutely brilliant. Are we safe enough to put this on top? I guess that's not gonna get too hot. Yeah. We'll find out, I guess, won't we? We'll find out, but yeah. I'm just gonna make myself a brew up. I might just take it off, say, so I've not really done much research in how to use them, how robust this is gonna be. Let's just take that off for now, just so I can really whack this up. This won't take long to get going. What a stunning, stunning location. I absolutely love it, absolutely love it. And of course, fitting in with the old retro, is my two finger hole cookser. I haven't used the cookser lately. I've really been going to town using my TBS Billy Canteen mug and my brew mug and that from TBS as well. So let's go back to a little bit of cookser love. A bit of cookser love, brilliant. A little bit of coffee. Not gonna go too mad, it's only a small little cookser. Now do. So yeah. I love coming out to this location. I use it pretty much all during the year, coming out here, sometimes I'm a bit further in the woods. But when it's just like this, there's barely any breeze. The bracken's starting to turn, colours are starting to turn on the trees, which you know I'll, I'll have a little wander around and show you a bit later in the video. But yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's boost that up. That ain't gonna take long at all. Say so autumn's my favourite time of year. Do you know, you can still go out, there's a lot to be foraged, there's a lot that can uh, be found to sustain yourself when you're out, if you're into wild foraging and edibles. And as mentioned in other videos, I've, I, I sort of follow a couple of people that really know their stuff, which is um, Gary Coverdale, um, Thomas Samuel McDade on Facebook, um, Gary does Bare Roots Bushcraft um, on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Another really good friend on um, Facebook, Dave Wilds, man. His knowledge of foraging wild edibles is brilliant. So yeah, there's a lot to be learned, a lot to be learned. Say, autumn's just, it just has everything, you know, the colors and that, that seasonal change, and that's brilliant. You start breaking out other bits of kit. I absolutely love it, absolutely love it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Probably because this is a bit of an open area glade and that hopefully a bit later on I might be able to see the buzzards. Uh, they've got a few buzzards and that around here. Um, during the summer, have come across um, a hobby or like peregrine across here as well, which is pretty cool. So that's really good. 
can hear a turbine behind me. I think there's a helicopter about to go, go past somewhere. Yeah, it's literally go straight across. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Now, I have remembered, because obviously the handle comes out. There we go, that's bubbled away nicely. I'm just going to turn that down. There we go. Oh yeah, I mean my hand, look, just, just there, that is really quite hot even with the leather glove. All we're gonna do now is we're just gonna pop that lid on just so I keep some of that residual heat in there. We just pop that to the side. What I have done around here is just create a little bit of a brush area and um, just so I'm not kicking up too much dust and stuff around. I've not put down a ground sheet, I don't need it. So anyway guys, I'm going to crack on with my brew, we'll tune back in, we'll see what's about. Okie doke. Just finished my brew. Blatant bit of advertising for the TBS, TBS knives. But I've just realised people have said that my stuff comes across in flip or reverse mirror image. And that this t-shirt is absolutely brilliant. TBS Knives. Obviously I'm out today. I'm still doing some um, work and reviews and getting to grips, excuse the pun, with my TBS Armour Pico knife, which is absolutely brilliant. I've almost sort of kind of finished gathering all my sort of um, knowledge and getting out with it and I'm just compiling that all to do a review but um, I have to say this has been absolutely fantastic I'm gonna do a full-blown review on this coming up in about three or four videos time um, finish my brew I want to show you around come on let's go let's just sort this out there we go let's just drop that back like that so yeah I am out no one about, so my lavu is going to be fine. So you can see all this area here has actually sort of been trampled down and the cattle are going over it and they're starting to graze and that's allowing new shrubs and shroots to, to pull up and grow up. It's a lot more out, open now. It's gone a little bit overcast. There's still no breeze really. So this area that I'm in, the glade, it's been completely fenced off. Goes all the way around. It's, it's, it's fairly big. It's fairly big. And um, you can see the fence runs down along here. And there's a swing-weighted gate that takes you into a nice little place, which I'm just going to show you now. So let's have a look. Look at the colours on that. So there's a, there's a couple of these ponds spread around here. Bulrush, still growing. There are some big, big dragonflies. There's quite a few dragonflies, damselflies and that around here. But yeah, the bulrush grows up. Some silver birch and that in there. Just a natural little pond. Loads of little birds and that. Full of birds just around the edge here. This pond is brilliant. Yeah, there's some big old dragonflies going across here. Absolutely brilliant. Of course, this is just a natural pond and that helps with invertebrates and that. There are newts in here apparently, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you get a lot of bug life and things like that. It helps with invertebrates and insects, dragonflies, birds feed on it. Absolutely stunning. Cracking little area. So yeah, 
it's nice to sometimes just come down here even if I'm on like a lunch break from work with a client so I've got a few clients around this area and uh, I'll just literally just bring a flask of coffee just come down just sit on the bench in there and just sit down there listen to bird song it's fantastic so yeah people do walk through here as you saw and they walk past my lavu. But everyone's really nice, they're just dog walkers. It's during the day, the kids are at school. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I have been over here in the past and that, and I have lit the firebox. I'm not gonna light the firebox today. You know, we're at the end of summer, going into autumn, the ground's really dry, and um, I don't want any loose or errant sparks kind of flicking off and me not being aware, and later on, that ember just catches and gets going again because around here the brush is so dry it literally just would take so you've really got to be careful even though I am super super careful when I go out I've always got plenty of water when I'm using the firebox not today we're going like old school with a camping gas stove and that's it look at that how well does that just sit there how cool is that brilliant love it love it right let's get back down here Let's just pop you back down. Let's get the old tripod set. Now we're looking. Yes, I'm there. All right. Okie doke. So nice. Nice. How's that handle? That handle's good. I'll tell you what. It's been about 15 odd minutes or so since I did that brew put the lid back on it afterwards and the heat that stays in there but you know what that's hot enough for another brew ladies and gents ladies and gents let's have another brew now when I use the cookser I literally only ever have black coffee I never, I never put skimmed milk in it or milk I have done in the past but I just in the cookser I, ju I just like black coffee just black coffee that's that's all we got that is it so I can still use that for a second still hot brew I'm gonna pour the rest of the water mostly in the plastic tin Taking that off because a little ant just went on it. Don't want him getting frazzled. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give this a stir. We're going to pop that just to the side. Let me pop my coffee away. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You know I said I was going old school today. Hang on, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right, don't, don't panic. I'm not taking off my trousers. Let's just take the, the knife off, just because I'm sitting down. You know, I said I was going old school. Well, I am going old school today. So I wanted to try this out of a bit of food today. And um, when I first started going out as a team, when I was in the cadets and like camping by myself and things like that, what did we all do? We used the Hexi burner, which I don't use anymore. Let's be honest, they're pretty rubbish. You've got to go through a load of tablets just to keep them going, the old hexy tablets or use dragon fuel or things like that. But nah, we don't need to be doing that anymore. But what did we all do? We took out a tin of baked beans and sausages and we nicked our mum's tin opener and out, off we went. But what I've got to do today to do is this. Again, I know it's mirror image. I'm gonna have to look into the settings on turning that around. But this is Hunger Breaks, the full Monty. A full on tasty meal with baked beans, large sausages, potato chunks, mushrooms, mini bacon steaks, and a mini beef cutlet. Old school, old school. And literally, as I was going out the door, I forgot my little breakaway tin opener, so I rushed back in, couldn't be bothered to look for it. So I just grabbed a tin opener from the cupboard. Carefully doesn't 
cut his tongue. Oh, yeah, do you know what? Could eat this cold. Well, let's get this baby in there. And this is going to be a part of my canteen cup Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Canteen Cup Tuesday or Canteen Cup Challenge is done on a Tuesday um, with my good friend Paul Michael O'Brien, part of his group, Stealthy Bushcraft Camping and Hiking, or is it Hiking and Camping? Can't remember at the moment. Yeah, just a one cup meal. I got everything in there. Where's my lighter? Where's my lighter? I think because the inside of this, which is metal, gets really hot. We're gonna keep it on a little bit of a slower tick over. See how this goes. Sweet. Well, I am gonna make sure that all my rubbish gets broken down. Tasty. Hunger breaks the full Monty. That's proper like old school bacon and beans and that in one little tin and that. Yeah. Nice. And that's the beauty of this mess kit. You know what? Boil up your water, put it in there. I think you can get like a secondary handle that goes in there like this, but they didn't come with it from what Tim sent me. Make your coffee, drink out of that. You got your water in there cook your food in there job done I'm just saving a bit of the water that I brewed up just to wash out this afterwards um, I have got plenty more water as well but again let's get the glove don't want to be burning the hand maybe that's a little bit too high it's not gonna to take too long yeah just one meal one meal I had a quick pop in the shops the other day and I thought, what can I do? What can I do that's just got everything in a tin? And that was it. Something like that. Got some mushrooms in there, a little beef cutlet, a little pork sausage, beans, potato. Job done, eh? Job done. So yeah, this, this is absolutely brilliant. I am loving this. Nice, nice. Cheap, basic, simple, filling, effective. Awesome. The heat that gets generated in these is fantastic, it really is. Well, listen. This is bubbling away. My channel is doing really well at the moment. It's getting a lot of engagement, getting a lot of feedback, a lot of positive comments and thumbs up, and that is really, really appreciated. I'm on 470 subscribers now. As you know, when I get to the big 500, boom, there's gonna be a giveaway. Um, I've got a great little giveaway lined up, just as my way of saying thanks for everyone's continued support motivation encouragement for watching my videos you know you've got to give back and that for what you put in and that and um i, j I just love the the engagement with everyone that follows my channel and um i'm loving it i've got some great videos lined up i'm gonna have the tbs armor puko knife review i've got my snug pack scorpion 2 tent which i've started using a fair bit got a review on that coming up I've got some preparation for like autumn and winter with um, fire prep and tinder and kindling and stuff like that and some other little observations and that so yeah there's a lot going on with my channel and that's really good to say I'm on the 400 subscriber mark but my shout out today I'm gonna as you know in most of my videos unless it's one that was pre-recorded before I started doing the shout outs I'm gonna do a shout out today to a good friend got a brilliant brilliant channel 
So again, you're gonna to need to go into my channel list, scroll down on my subscribers and find him. And today's shout out is to Alan, Metal Man Outdoors. He has got a blinder of a channel. You need to go and check him out. Go and find his channel through me. Alan, Metal Man Outdoors, brilliant guy, informative, funny, great videos. Really, really good guy, really good guy. So that's today's shout out and uh, head over Give his channel a sub watch a couple of his videos make sure to give that positive engagement give you know the old thumbs up leave comments and that so that's today's uh shout out that is scorchy all brilliant anyway ladies and gents once again thanks for tuning in we'll catch up again soon we'll let that cool down just a little bit i'm going to enjoy that bit of uh Scran, enjoy my coffee. Oh yeah. Let's catch up on our next video. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye.